Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you don't know who I am, hi, hello, my name's Janessa and this is a nail channel. I try and bring you at least two videos every single week doing some fun nail stuff. If that sounds like something you're interested in, then please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. So if you missed my last video, I'm currently hosting a giveaway right now. Me and Jelly Nails are collaborating and we are giving one of my subscribers a box worth of $100 of some bomb nail products. Be sure to check that out and enter if you haven't. And speaking of giveaways, you guys, they finally happened and your girl won her first giveaway. I've been like trying to enter giveaways, I swear, since Instagram started and it just hasn't been my time until now. So I'm going to show you what I won, the brand Ohuhu. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. They were hosting a giveaway of their 18 poly gel nail kit and I ended up winning. Like, can you guys believe that? Um, I'm super excited to show you guys what's inside of here. This kit is perfect for anybody that is just starting poly gel. So if you'd like to see what's inside this kit, watch me unbox it and see what nails I end up doing, then please keep watching. Bye! Okay guys, let's get into unboxing this kit. You can get this off Amazon if you'd like. It comes with 18 colors and um, it breaks it down for you, everything that's inside. So let's open it up. We're going to start with this cute little um, booklet. It literally has so much info, breaks down everything for you. Here's all the colors. So many beautiful ones. They're 15 milligrams each. I'm going to take these out and we're going to start with the cuticle pusher. And then it has some little um, cuticle nippers. I think that's what you call these guys. Then we're going to have some fingernail clippers. Really sturdy, really nice ones. We have a 180 grit nail file, the standard nail brush and spatula, and then we have a slip solution it comes with, and a glossy top coat and base coat, and then also comes with a matte coat. And then here is the box of plastic dual forms. They're really nice, um, you know, just the basic standard one. They are pretty curved though, but they felt like they had a, enough room in them, which is always good. So this kit had so many colors. We were gonna we were gonna be here all day if I was going to swatch them one by one. So here's all the colors uncured. I'm gonna put them in the lamp and four of these are temperature changing. You can see the 11, 12, 13, and 14. And then you can see them slowly start to change back right here and then back to their original color, which is super cool. So I didn't prep my nails, but this is all the stuff I used to prep. I don't put it in every video just cause it's repetitive. Um, we're going to be doing Lazy Girl Method today. I'm using my full cover nails from AliExpress and my Kiara Sky Lamp. And then I chose to do the color number 10 today. I'm going to be using these cute little um, butterfly decorations. No, sorry, those are the heart ones. And then here's the butterfly ones. I have like little pill containers that I take and I put in like my butterflies and I'll put in my rhinestones. Just helps like organize them better. And here's a slip solution. I didn't end up using it because I'm obsessed with slips in a bottle, especially this Beatles one. Burano has a good one. I just love it. So we're going to break down the Lazy Girl method for you guys today. The first step you're gonna do is apply top coat inside of the full cover nail. That's if you're applying decorations. If you're not doing decorations, then you can skip this part. Um, so after the uh, top coat's in there, we're going to put our decorations in there. Um, you can literally use like whatever you want, you know, anything that your little mind, your little heart wants. Go ahead and do that. Then we're going to take our little flashy lamp or whatever kind of curing device you have and do a little flash cure that just holds all of the decorations in place. So then I'm going to apply the poly gel and some of my slip solution and then I'm just going to pat that all out in the full cover nail. You want to do like as thin as possible but enough poly gel that it's going to like cover the whole nail that you're not going to be able to see through because some poly gels you do need to go in with like two coats to get like the proper um you know like the color transparency whatever and so yeah once you have the poly gel in there you want to make sure it's like thin by the cuticle a little bit thicker where the apex is 
And then once you have that all um, where you want it, you're gonna take that off and put it onto your nail. And so you're gonna like put it wherever, you're, you know, the poly gel actually like suctions to your nail, so that's nice. And then you're going to cure it. Um, make sure you twist your nail around, flip it upside down, and then you're literally done. So I know some people were like, wait, I don't understand. Like, I don't, it doesn't make sense to me. So if you've ever used dual forms before, usually you would fill up the, you, you know, you would do what I'm doing now. You'd fill up the poly gel, you'd put it on your nail, cure it, and then you'd pop the dual form off, file and shape the poly gel. So with the lazy girl method, you don't pop this nail off. So I'm doing the decorations, curing it. I'm gonna fill it up with my poly gel. I'm going to apply it to my nail and cure it. And then the nail is the, like, then I'm done. Um, it's, it, I know it seems crazy because you're like, how? But it's literally just like a press on nail that is adhering to your nail with the poly gel. So instead of taking, instead of like going and buying a press on nail that's already finished for you and gluing it to your nail, you're kind of making it yourself and then it's sticking to your nail with the poly gel. If you do your prep good, these nails will last two to three weeks. If you don't do your prep good, they will pop off. Literally, they will pop right off. You have to make sure that your nail literally has no oil in it. You have to buff the shine from your nail. You have to use a really good dehydrator and a really good primer. And then you're gonna use base coat on your nail and then you're going to do all of this and cure the nail to your finger. Um, it really is as easy as it sounds. It takes a couple tries to get the poly gel ratio into the nail to find out exactly how much you need. Because sometimes like when you're first doing this, a little bit will spill out. Just clean that up with a file. I'll show you guys how I do that at the end, but. Yeah, so I wanted to kind of break that down for you guys. Anyone that was confused, um, don't be confused. Watch this video one or two times and you'll get it. You can get these nails on AliExpress, on Amazon. These ones are um, their, their gel. So the gel ones adhere better um, with the poly gel, but you can also use the plastic ones too. I'll link these in the, in the description below. So you can, any full cover nail you have, put some poly gel in that cure it to your nail and you literally are done it takes like it takes like the master like the mastering of like sculpting nails pretty much out of it because the full cover nail is like already sculpted for you you know so i only do three nails in here because it's repetitive i literally did the same thing on each of the nails just cute girly um so after you apply them you don't have to do this but i like to do it. i just think it it makes the nails look more like fresh and clean um, and sometimes the, the, the full cover nails have like a little piece of plastic on them. So you want to go ahead and file, buff the nail, um, remove the, the shine on top of the nail, just kind of file the sides, make sure it's all crisp and clean. There's no poly gel spillage anywhere. Um, and then we will head to the next part. Um, by the way, I just want to remind everybody to make sure if you can to go and vote. If you are registered, voting is so important. Your vote matters. So please, please, please make sure you guys go and vote tomorrow. Um, so after I have all the nails uh, buffened and everything, I'm taking my rhinestone glue because I'm going to do some gems. So um, you apply the rhinestone glue first and then without curing that, you're gonna take your top coat and put it on top of that. You guys um, see I didn't go on with any base coat because I'm doing matte nails today. I thought the matte would be so cute. So I'm going to put the rhinestone glue and then I'm just going on top with the matte top coat. And then um, without curing that, I'm going to apply my rhinestones. And then after your rhinestones are all set in place, then you'll cure that. Um, yeah, I had fun with these nails. They were so easy, so simple. I usually like, I really, I love doing this lazy girl method on my non-dominant hand because it's easy like usually when i do a poly gel on top of the nails with my non-dominant hand it takes a long time but when you do it this way it's super fast so yeah i hope you guys like it i hope you enjoyed it sorry i didn't get a, uh, two videos out last week i only got one out i was super busy with you know halloween and all of that but i'm back i have like three videos planned for this week i have a couple more giveaways coming i have another giveaway coming in my next video so make sure you don't miss that and then um, again, like I said earlier, I have a giveaway still going on with Jelly Nails. It's going on until next until this coming Sunday. 
So you have about six more days to enter that if you want to. I hope you guys do. But yeah, how is everyone doing? Um, it's cold where I am. I know like everyone's kind of getting sick again. Numbers are rising. So make sure you guys please be careful wherever you are. Be sure to wash your hands extra and, you know, social distance. <laughs> Um, did you guys have trick-or-treaters? I literally I didn't have one trick-or-treater at my house. It was so weird My daughter was a ladybug um, Miraculous ladybug has anyone seen that like the cat noir the ladybug show? <laughs> so after I have all of my nails cured with the matte top coat I'm taking my cuticle oil and I'm just going to brush that on all my cuticles and Rub that in and then you guys I'm done. What do you think? So cute, huh? It's so simple, really easy, but really girly and fun. I hope that I explained the Lazy Girl Method well enough for those of you that had questions. I love you guys so much. Thank you to everyone that makes it to these videos, and I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye!